Hey, Chuck, what day is it? What's today's day? All right. Hey, man, it's Wednesday, so you already know. It's binge work. Okay, so we're gonna start off. Uh, we're gonna start off with you, Sintel, man. Well, this week we are watching uh, Cowboy Bebop, and yep. it is the live, live action version. So yep. we're gonna start off with you, Sintel, man. How you gonna rate Cowboy Bebop the live action? Version? Oh man, okay. So I can't lie, man. This one was um, disappointing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was um, I was expecting something to be a lot more. I think I think it's got some really good aspects regarding like the way it looks and the way it makes you feel nostalgic. But the story just didn't seem to want to be interesting. You know, it wasn't overly bad. It just wasn't interesting. I would honestly, I probably would have given it a cringeworthy uh, if it wasn't for two episodes, uh, episode eight and episode nine, the last two episodes was good enough for me to make it a snack. And we'll get into the details on why that is. Okay, so you're wow. going to read it as a snack? All right. Yeah. Um, wow. I'm going to jump in here, gentlemen, okay. and I'm going to be real honest with you. I thought this was terrible. Uh, I, 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 I was thoroughly disappointed. They gave a lot of backstories to a bunch of characters that didn't have backstories that didn't make sense to me. Uh, a bunch of twists and turns in the plots that just didn't add up. Uh, the characters that they were trying to, they already had a solid foundation. They were giving us weak backstories that we didn't need. And it didn't move this story at all. So Santel, man, you gave it a snack. I'm going to go ahead and go with your original thought. I'm giving it a cringe word. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Giving it a cringe word. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel you, fam. It's, yeah, it's. Yeah. So all that potential. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Squander. Chuck, Squander. man, how you going, how you going to rate uh, Cowboy Bebop? Man, uh, I've been thinking about this the for the last time. three days. Mm -hmm. uh, initially started off as a snack. And. It, I kept going back to the look of it. I I really like the anime look of it. And I think I the juxtaposition of it looking like anime being thrown into a Western story is what hurts me the most. Mm -hmm. It was like they westernized the hell out of this story to the point where it wasn't good at all. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a mini meal. Y'all almost had me talk me into a snack, you guys. But I, I said mini meal, mini meal, because I love the anime. I wanna see more know. things like this. No, I want to see. Gotta... I thought the casting was well. It was well casted. It, I loved. I, we'll go into it. We'll go into it. Yeah. I don't want to dive yeah. too, too deep now. I don't want to hog the mic right now. But <coughs> I'm giving it a mini so, meal. So you gave it a mini meal. Uh, Sintel mm -hmm. gave it a snack, and I gave snack. it cringe worthy. So that equals out to two. So that's right at a, a snack. A snack. Mm -hmm. a snack. Yeah. That's, snack. That sounds mm -hmm. about right. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Chuck, you brought up an interesting point. And that's one of the questions that I uh, wanted to ask you guys. Uh, I I gave it a mini. I, I mean, I gave it a cringe word and I'm sticking by that. And maybe you guys can convince me. But what I did enjoy about it was the look. Oh, we got to tell the guests that we do a double vote. So we vote at the beginning and vote at the end. Too. OK, good, 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 good. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Yeah, no, you're Sorry. fine. So, uh, yeah, we voted at the beginning and then we have mm -hmm. our discussion and then we vote again and we might change our rating. Mm -hmm. uh, but was the look of it, I thought they did for a live animated, a live action version. I thought the look of it was really cool. I, I, I really enjoyed that part. So, Sintel, man, I'm interested. How'd you feel about the look? The uh, look was a first. Okay, so, so, so there's two looks. Um, when, when you're talking about like the vehicle design, and uh, when you're getting, when you're looking at the planets and the planetscapes, like everything that was CG was super good. The CG was mind blowing. Um, I loved the vehicles, um, which was a shame because we didn't get any like real fighter battles, you know, like in, in the cartoon, mm -hmm. in the anime, excuse me, like Spike, you get a chance to see like some, some real, you know, some plane battles. Um, I mean, even, even with Faye Valentine, shoot, man, even, I mean, everybody, but you mm -hmm. don't really see that. You get like one and then you don't see it anymore. And, and, and obviously that's, that's really expensive. But then there's the set design. The set design at times felt like I was looking at a Broadway play. 
Mm -hmm. um, it didn't it didn't come 100 percent. And then there was other set designs that, that looked like really, really well done. They did a really good <laughs> job of that retro feel. Time yeah. out. Courtney says she gives it a cringeworthy, too. She came in yeah. the chat, so I would give it a yeah. cringeworthy. 